Yes, good morning. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, what I'm going to do is show you the uh, system that I'm going to use in my tutorials. Okay. First, I will show you my automation server. Okay. Now, this is my automation server. As you can see here, it is already powered up. Okay. Now, in automation server, you have here the communication uh, port. Okay. Now, I mean the communication indication in my automation server. So, what can you see here? Actually, this is a Schneider automation server. Okay. Now, this automation server is the one responsible in communicating to your botnet controllers. Okay. Now, as you can see here, my Ethernet is uh, up. Then, I have communication at port A and port B. Now, the protocol is, uh, I mean, I'm using an RS-485. Okay. Okay. Okay, now as you can see, this is my automation server. This is the power supply. Now, let me go to the automation I.O. module. So, I have here one digital output module. Okay, so what is this digital output? So, this digital output is the one giving start-stop command to uh, specific equipment that you are controlling. Okay, so digital output meaning you will give on-off command. As you can see here, uh, this uh, digital output, uh, you can put it in hand, auto or off. When it is in hand, when it is in hand now uh, you put it in hand, then you are uh, manually turning on that digital output number four. As you can see here, uh, there's already running program, digital output one and two is already on, okay? Because it is in automatic. Now, if you put it in hand, just like what I said, you can manually control the equipment, okay? Or just, uh, it's like you are issuing an on up command, okay? Now, next module I have here, UI 8, then analog output 4, meaning I have a universal input 8, okay? Then I have analog output 4. So, what what is an analog output? Analog output, usually we use it for controlling the uh, bulb actuator, damper actuator, or an equipment that needs an input signal of 0 to 10 volts or 4 to 20 milliamps. But basically, uh, I'm using this 0 to 10 volts uh, output signal. Okay, now this module also, it has universal inputs. Now, what is universal inputs? Universal inputs, uh, you can use this also for digital inputs and some analog inputs okay that's why it's called universal input so here uh, this module uh, you can connect four analog output then eight universal inputs okay then again my next uh, my next my next io module is uh, ao8 okay now this uh, module you can connect eight analog output module now as you can see here again you can uh, Put it in hand, auto and off. Okay. Now at the bottom, I have here one. Uh, I have the uh, this one are potentiometer, or you can use this to uh, simulate the output control signal. Okay. So by turning on this potentiometer, you can give. Uh, if you are using zero to ten volts, you can give ten volts. You can give. 0 volts or you can give 5 volts, okay? So, this is how you test your equipment that being controlled by your program, okay? Now, the next module I have here is UI8DOFC4. Once again, this is the same with the previous I.O. module. 8 universal inputs, then uh, 4 digital output. Now, my next here is the uh, UI16. So meaning this one is used if you are monitoring many points. So you can monitor analog inputs and digital inputs for this I.O. module. Okay, so these I.O. modules are connected to my uh, <coughs> automation server through this cable, okay? So, the, I mean these uh, I.O. modules are communicating through this cable. Now, at the top, I have here botnet controllers. Again, these botnet controllers also are communicating with my front-end computers through this automation server. Now, as I said, these botnet controllers uh, are communicating through master-slave token passing protocol. So, I run one RS485 uh, RS cable 
for the communication of these uh, botnet controllers. Okay. So these botnet controllers I will discuss later in my next video. Okay. So uh, once again, thank you very much for watching this uh, short video clips. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit also the notification bell. Once again, this is Santos Capellan Jr. Thank you very much and bye for now.